even in the dark, it's critical to get that rod back out on the money. Let's get that nice drop. Really important to get that firm drop that I've been getting each cast. If, if it doesn't go down, I, I'll rewind it back in and redo it. There you go. Even with that mono, you can still feel that, just that slightly firmer sensation, which means we're sitting on harder, better bottom to present a hook bait. And again, doesn't change. Summer, spring, summer, autumn, winter, you still want it presented on the best bottom possible, the sort of spots that you know they've been feeding on or they're likely to feed on and find your hook bait easier. With the fish clearly in one of those winter feeding windows, I topped up the swim with seven spodfuls of bait. With a big stock of carp, this is a good amount of food, but always remember, I can use more loose feed as I know my hook baits are super attractive and stand out from the pack. So even if they just have a little feed, I've still got a great chance of a bite. Well, we're in fish number three, or the fifth, third fish we've hooked. <laughs> And it's the same rod still, and that's typical of winter fishing, really. Um, that's why, you know, coming to a new water for the first time, I've got two different approaches, actually, on this rod. This is, the, the as I say, the same one that's gone, the Ronnie rig with the uh, isotonic pineapple supreme and manganana pop-up on it. And on the right, just probably feet, like a few feet away, like inches, if you like, is a solid bag with pellets infused with goo and uh and on that one a pink pop-up that's just not that's just not gone it's crazy really see that happen a lot so that's why it does pay to often fish two rods on one spot and then the left one is on its own again on another spinner with the same same sort of uh, goo goo infused isotonic and the uh, pineapple you've heard it all before now this one's just out here having a little splash about dumpy little fella looks like a nice pretty fish all welcome during the winter and this is this is why you pick the right venue you can have some great sport in cold water conditions and a another lovely lovely linear <laughs> cracking little fish well, we've been very unlucky with the size. We've actually weighed this one. It's eight and a half pounds, so definitely one of the smaller of the stockies that went in. But look at it, an absolute creature. And that, for me, is what winter fishing is all about. Going to venues that you get a little tickle on. You can test some rigs, test some baits. And when you're catching carp as beautiful as this, who actually cares how big they are? Incredibly, the same rod has done all three bites, whilst a solid bag just a few feet away has sat there motionless. When it's three bites to zero between rods, that's the time to make a change. So I retie the solid bag, but this time I put on the same hook bait that has done all three fish. The isotonic manganana and pineapple supreme combo has been a real winner on Monster Carp filming in 2018 for season four, and it seems to be just as splendid in the depths of winter in the UK. That citrus appeal really gives the hook bait extra zing, which is clearly making a difference on this spot. Fresh bag, back on the spot, and the next rod to go was the solid bag. So, just goes to show, can tweak it in the winter, little hook bait change. Get a bite. Let's get this net because this is close to the bank. This fish. Another one, another baby. <laughs> there we go, a sucker for a solid bag. But ironically, I decided not to cast the solid bag out again. It was time for a little in session trial. Not long after that solid bag, caught fishes returned. Ronnie rig on the same spot has just ripped off. Just thought I'd try something new and just leave the spot and see if I can pick out a bigger fish. And this one definitely feels like a, a better stamp. Now these nails, yeah, it's lovely. That's a better one. Well, this is what we came for, a 20 pounder in the depths of winter and what a lovely carp it is. Have a look at that, 22 and a half pounds. And that is certainly one of the ones that has packed the weight on early doors. Awesome, awesome carp. And um, yeah, 
tiny little tweak really. This time I've not recast the solid bag and I've not put any bait out because I just wanted to see if I left it alone if one of the bigger carp will come in a little bit after the commotion of bait going in and picking up that hook bait and that's exactly what happened. So awesome stuff.